In today's video, we're going to talk about the extinction of the Space Marines. They were nearly at the end point, all because of the High Lords of Terror, but they were saved by none other than the Orc Xenos Menace themselves. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. Now, this law is taken from the Beast Arise series. This was a 12-part book series, which had some fantastic authors like Chris Ray, Dan Abner, etc., where they all came together and they told the story of the Beast, this gigantic orc threat that nearly conquered the galaxy. It was actually sieging Terra itself with one of its gravitical moons. Terra nearly fell. We had orcs, diplomats coming down down to Terra, negotiating with the humans, saying your end is near, there's nothing you can do, give up your arms, it's time for the Orcs to conquer the galaxy. It was insane, it was absolute mad times. And it was because of this huge galaxy invasion by the Orcs that the Space Marines are probably still around today. Now, before this galaxy mass invasion by the Orc threat, the Imperium is more or less in a state of peace. It had been 1,500 years since the Siege of Terror, since the Horus Heresy. The Chaos Space Marine threat, the demonic Primarchs, had all retreated and been pushed back into the Eye of Terror. So the planets, the Imperium itself, had been prospering, and the High Lords of Terror were then looking at certain departments, one of them being the Space Marines, thinking, why do we still need these genie enhanced super soldiers they thought chaos had been defeated the threats in the galaxy that were going against the imperium could more or less be handled by the imperial navy by the imperial guard and other orders attached they were looking at the space marines like why do we need to keep these around they're too dangerous to be kept around they could turn on us and they could be the next heresy event so why don't we get rid of them the imperium is prospering it's in its best state it's ever been in now there was a space marine chapter that wanted to prove the high lords wrong and this was the imperial fist the imperial fist since the horus heresy was stationed on the throne world of terror itself and upon hearing the plans of of the High Lords, they decided to prove themselves, to prove to the High Lords that the Space Marines still needed to be kept around. So they went to this planet to kill this other bug-like Xenos race. It wasn't the Tyranids, they're more like, um, kind of like ants, but like bigger ants kind of thing. They were just another Xenos race. But while they were wiping that Xenos race out, the Orcs started their invasion. And one of these Orc gravitical moons that could rip planets apart went over the planet that the Imperial Fist were on. And more or less, the entirety of the Imperial Fist chapter was wiped out. You had one Orc moon that went to Terra. And of course, there's no protectors there. Then There's no Space Marines. Uh, these orc moons went all around the galaxy. There was like rumors like one at McCrag. The Ultramarines and all the um, Gilliman's um, successor sons were fighting against that. The Blood Angels were fighting against some. Um, it was literally a galaxy wide event all down to the orcs launching their invasion because the imperium again was in this state of peace they weren't going out there looking for enemies to fight they were building their resources you know the rich were getting richer the high lords were getting richer and stuff like that and in this case it allowed the orcs to build up this huge mass of weapons and armies so they could launch this invasion and literally take the galaxy now i know a lot of people are probably going to be asking well what about the primarchs what what were they doing during all this with the High Lords? Well, the only Primark that was around at this time was Vulcan. Of course, we all know that Vulcan's perpetual. He can't die. He's just Vulcan, right? He keeps going and going and going. And he had walked away from the Imperium at this time. He saw the bureaucracy of the High Lords. He saw what the Imperium was becoming. It wasn't his father's dream or anything like that. So he walked away and he went to a planet. He did play a key part in helping the Space Marines when they all started to come together and combat the Orcs. This is the same time the Death Watch was founded to combat the Orcs and stuff. And the Space Marines managed to salvage the situation. And of course, kill the beast and take back the galaxy saving terror saving 
everyone, saving the Imperium itself. But this is why I keep saying, if it wasn't for the Orcs, then potentially we could have had a scenario where the High Lords put into a decree that the Space Marines were obsolete. They were tools of an old age that didn't need to be around anymore. But this galaxy invasion proved why you need Space Marines. They are the gene-enhanced super soldiers of the Emperor. They are the angels of death. They, you need them to combat threats like this. Now, another topic to discuss about this, let's just say, for example, the Orcs never launched their attack and the High Lords of Terror actually did decree that the Space Marines were obsolete and they needed to be disbanded. They couldn't recruit anymore and they had to fade away. I'm sure the Space Marines would have just ignored this order. If anything, it probably would have threw the Imperium into another civil war. Are you telling me chapters that had stood for thousands of years, like the Ultrees, the Blood Angels, uh, the Salamanders, the Raven Guard, all their successors, the Flesh Terrors, your know, Rage Incarnate, are literally going to take orders from a bunch of bureaucrats on terror that have not saw like the nightmares of the galaxy and lay down their weapons, you know, lay down their oaths to the emperor. That is never gonna happen. So the space marines, of course, would have said no. The high lords would have said, okay then, well, we're going to take your part by will of force. The Imperial Navy, the Imperial Guard were probably gonna be sent in there. The galaxy would have literally been ripped in half again all because of the High Lords of Terror. So yes, even though that the Orcs did technically save the Space Marines, I don't really think we would have seen the Space Marines disbanded. I don't think the Imperium, or should I say the High Lords, have that many resources to take on the Space Marines. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they could have at this time, but a Space Marine is a space marine. If all the space marine chapters in the galaxy at that time came together, I think it would have been too much of a threat um, against the High Lords to try and go against them. But that's just my viewpoint on it. I'd love to get your viewpoint on it. Do you think the High Lords could have actually gone through with this plan and disbanded the space marines um, and you know defeated them in a battle if it came to like a civil war? Post it down below. I'm have a nice little chin wag down there, as we always do. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Hope you're having a good day, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. See ya. Have a great day. And bye-bye.